right, now we're going to look at two different collections in Flax um, using web language taken from Google. So let's start with the web collocations collection and we're just going to type in the word shopping and this will take us to examples of um, this word shopping as collocations from Google. So here we see shopping used as a noun and shopping used as a verb. So we've got online shopping up here at the top, um, items in your shopping, and down here verb phrases, collocations such as continue shopping, shopping around, feel like shopping. Okay, let's go up to um, online shopping and see what we've got. So what we have actually in this collection according to frequency are the most common phrases around shopping. So actually online shopping here is um, most frequent and then it goes down to secure shopping, easy shopping, your online shopping, etc. And you can scroll through this collection um, further and further into the collection. So let's go back And I'm going to take a look at the third one here, which is ethical shopping. So what is ethical shopping? If I click on this link icon, it will bring me to the actual examples of text taken from Google. So the third example here shows me what it is. So ethical consumerism, alternatively called ethical consumption, ethical purchasing, moral purchase, purchasing, ethical sourcing, ethical shopping, or green consumerism. Okay, well that actually gives me quite a good idea about what ethical consumerism is. So I'm just going to go back, and I'm also interested in this connotation, secure shopping. Um, I'll, I'll have a look inside the British National Corpus Service. So Union Jack icon stands for the B and C. So let's take a look in there. Okay, so here's an example. Um, Influx of customers who feel safe, the cameras help to make the shops secure. Okay, and let's find more examples on the web by clicking on this web link icon. And yes, um, here we can see you know, you can shop with confidence, secure shopping is a very safe means of payment, and so on. Okay, so that gives us um, an insight into the Google corpus. So let's go back and take a look at another collection made from the Google corpus, which is this collection called Web Phrases. Okay, so here we have the ability to put up to four words into this corpus. So I've just put in two words already, your life. And you have an option here of finding words and phrases that follow the words that you've put into the window, or phrases that precede. So um, let's start off with phrases that follow the words your life. And you can return up to 2,000 phrases. You know, we can drop that down to 200, um, because I'm sure there will be quite a few. Okay, so let's take a look at these phrases. So automatically you can see that the word your occurs um, quite often in this Google corpus, and your life um, it drops down to 9,300,000 um, instances of those words in sequence. Okay, so here we have um, your life and the phrases. Let's take a look at this one. So your life plus a singular noun. So let's open that up. Okay, so your life insurance, your life experience. So those are all quite useful um, phrases for me to be able to use in my speaking and also in my writing if I want. Um, so here we see there are 64,000 instances of your life insurance. So we know that that's actually quite a frequent phrase. But we also know that these others are moderately frequent and definitely used um, within the, in the Google context. Let's click on phrases preceding your life and see what gets thrown up here. Okay, so if we just scroll down, lots of prepositions plus your life. So for example, in your life, of your life, into your life. Okay, um, let's take a look at 
Mm. Verb plus your life. So improve your life, living your life. Something changed your life, perhaps. Okay. It changed your life. Who changed your life? Okay, so uh, this is just giving us um, a more controlled way of looking at language as it occurs in Google. Because of course we can search for phrases in Google, the web search engine, and it will throw up lots of examples and tell us how often these words occur. But here in Flax it gives us a more structured and controlled way of doing this. Okay, thank you.